Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Stone, and welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Okay, so... The word so... is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Totally. Uh, yeah, let's ask. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, I what's the girl's name? Clementine. To keep Clementine, Clementine in the loop. That is a very pretty name. Cause Thanks. Well, we should get to work. I don't want her to go to hate We've me. I don't even know if that's possible in this there, game, so but I just really want to stay on good terms with Clementine. I want to build a fence. No yeah. shit. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On a tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. So, this immediately picked up F, like, from where we ended last episode, which is kind of cool. I didn't really know how to expect. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Okay, fine then. Seems like those two are getting along. Okay, let's go talk. Hey there, girls. Mm. What do you do? How, I want to know how to say How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? No. Uh. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues. I panicked. I don't know what to do. Friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Um... Yeah, I'm curious what So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. So they're both What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Okay. Back in a bit. Okay. I want to stay on good terms with everybody. Because I don't really know when I need to screw them over later. And I don't want to see them coming or anything. I'm not aiming to screw people over. But I'm just saying I will risk the few to save the many. Though I'm pretty sure I said last episode that I wasn't going to do that. But that's kind of like a natural instinct for me. So if you ever get stranded with me somewhere... If worse comes to worse, if you're the dead weight that's going to kill everyone, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of you. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's no harm. Yes, there is. Whatever. Um, let's talk to. Ooh. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. I was in, I was in philosophy this last semester in college, and so yeah, I'm still working on that fence. I ended we ended up talking hey, about Lee. risking a few and saving the money, and I got some pretty interesting looks Need when I said what I said. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure thing. Um, what's his name? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, He's in he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Sometimes... It's kill. Be kill. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this uh, fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family <laughs> I don't know if that was the right thing to say. thinks inviting people in is a bigger Hello. threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My yeah. brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. I know something's supposed to happen. And... I have to choose between one of these two. How are you doing, I don't Doc? know when that happens. Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Well, all right then. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. Oh, my God. I'm good. <laughs> How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Slower than what? Okay. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, okay, Sean! Okay, so you're just gonna repeat everything. Whatever. What do I do now? Um, let's go this way. Oh, I forgot to talk to Kenny. Okay. He seems like an alright dude. Damn it. Alright. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Mm. Yeah, need any help? Need any help? No. I think I got it. Are you, are you okay? Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No nah, kids. Nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. To ask about the sun or to ask about the plants? I want to know. Why is it so difficult? Okay, let's ask about the plan. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Okay. Uh, I don't really give a shit about See the you. sun. Herschel. Mm. 
Did I lie to him? No, I didn't. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah. Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. We're just what not going to talk about the wife, because... Well, I hope they're all right. Uh, but now you've got this little girl out. to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. You don't really I believe give me. You a piece of advice. Uh. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. How do you Let's know I did anything? Things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. But I haven't given you attitude. Ooh. Go! I'll get my gun! Okay, so this is the part where I'm supposed to choose between Kenny and... No, no. Between Duck and, um... The Sun. Uh, 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 uh. Who's more resourceful? Sorry, we're gonna go with this one. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna get his son, so that's fine. I got you. Kenny, help me! Are you shitting me? No, you little son of a... Okay, uh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? No, 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 no! No, no! Ugh. Son of a bitch, I didn't want that to happen, did I wait too long? Oh, no. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. Oh. <laughs> I know, son. I... Uh... Oh, shit. Uh, he died. I didn't want him to fucking Kenny. Why did you? Oh my god! You stupid son of a. Oh god, he's gonna be pissed. Get out! Fuck! Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him. But this piece of shit let him die. Oh, God. Uh, I'll take the I blame. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends are cowards. Please. Just go. Get out! And never come back. Is he kicking me out too? I mean, I try to help. Come on. Son of a bitch. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. God damn it. Is there like an alternate 
Like, is there a, a way where Sean survives? Because last time I played this, I chose to save a duck. And I still ended up here, so I don't know. Can Sean. Well, is there any storyline where Sean going. survives? Then it's far enough. I'll probably just have to go back and play it, see if I if I can have Sean survive or not. Look! Oh my god. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. 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 That Glenn, that's Glenn. Glenn's my favorite character. He's always been one of we my can't favorites. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Oh, this girl. God. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. We're not dangerous. Worse. They could've let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. But not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You fucking liar. You, you let someone die. Hell, he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. Just hold on. Just I hold go on. Up there again in a second. I bet you in a minute. Would. In a minute. In a minute, Clem. No, They've please don't go kids, walking off Lily. on your own. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God Dude. damn it, Lily! You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying. Fuck. Yeah, she's technically We're not wrong. War zone. But she's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he's not. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh, fuck. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. Reasoning is bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Calm the fuck Everyone down, dude. Chill the fuck out. Exactly. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Dude, this right guy now, lets his emotions all over the place. In here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. No, he's That's not. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get Yeah, what if it was your it's girl? It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. Are She's you not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. Well, congrats for her service. I'm I mean, I appreciate that. I love the Air Force, Just but... Worry about duck. Lee! Oh yeah. my god, Clementine. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy. This here. is the I'm liquor store. This is the prank liquor store. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll yeah. be three. If then he turns, do what you say. yeah, exactly. Lee, toss him out and save the group. Lee? 
What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally! Someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing them out now. No, 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 no. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Okay. Whoa! Seriously, knock out. Get up. Get up. Come on. Up, 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 Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, this girl's okay? my lifesaver. That's great, thanks. <sighs> She's my friend. I trust her. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. uh, yeah. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, so you need help now. Actually, okay, no, she'll... We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, yeah. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep Lily a good eye Larry. on him. These hmm. boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. He's You're such our a lookout. douche, though. Doug, you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Kenny's a good leader. Um, all right, let's figure out. ATM ain't gonna work. Not that money has any value right now. We're in the middle of an apocalypse. The pills are in there. Yeah, no shit. Oh, energy bar. Lily's really headstrong, and I don't know if that's gonna end up being her weakness later on. And Larry, Larry's just way too emotional. Oh, I didn't even see Clementine there. His parents, right? They owned a drugstore. Uh, we're gonna think about them anyways. I'm sorry. Let's go with this. He have a brother? Yeah. No? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say that's his brother. Wow, I really don't remember a lot. Why did he do that? Find anything? Oh. Um. Can we trust her? Yeah. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Oh shit. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Oh shit. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Oh, that's... <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Which is why I'm not look, telling everyone. don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. See, I trust her for some reason. Well, aside from the fact that she already saved my ass, she seems just really trustworthy. Let's see how Clem's doing. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there awesome. was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I love her. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Alright. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. What's this? This door leads to the back alley. Yeah, probably be best not to open that. Or well, maybe. I better not go out there. Okay, fine. We will. Yeah, it's... parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Yeah. Uh, what's this? That weapon? What's that? Oh, it's a cane. What's that? Beat the shit out of people. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. Take it with us. My Can dad we? gave it to me. See, dad's are smart like that. Alright then. Yeah. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. I don't want to open the door. I have a feeling it's going to be locked, but whatever. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Oh, hey. Here we go. Watch Smart your fingers in the drawers. Think alike. Uh... Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. Do we find I bet out? My dad does. Why? Okay. Here we go. People turned. I don't really remember this. Case. Do you have kids? No. No. You don't have a family? I used to. The yeah, asking subject. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Smart people. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing. And Things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. 
You didn't answer my question. Son of a bitch. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? You're too observant for your age. I guess it's good, but... to say because they're dead to completely destroy your hope but that's technically true but yeah well, I hope not it's just complicated that's all why it just is but you love them right of course yeah of course look my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different yeah Let's be truthful. I am. Um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. I want to be truthful with Clementine. I don't want her finding out about anything Ow! I did. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. That's TV, whoops. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. She's so nice. That's not where the cut was. But whatever. Okay. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to keep the hope in Me? her? Keep the hope in it? Okay. They'll uh, track us down. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I don't want to completely destroy her innocence. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Damn it. Um, what else can I do? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right. Keys are not in here. Lego, Clemmy. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? don't want to lie to her but she's so young I have no idea how we're supposed to explain to her that we killed the man or before this even started we killed the man that uh you know how's it doing I'm not sure Slept I got your name wife it's Lee Lily my dad's Larry I was just doing what I had to earlier everyone was now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything and that violence before with my dad that didn't help Yeah, What's just... wrong with him? 
He's got a heart condition. No, he takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Yeah, let's not provoke her. He's got a temper. Damn it, I didn't you. say that. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I know. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. <sighs> I didn't mean to Where's click the button, mom? but whatever. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thank you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. I kind of want to feed Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I think it's important to take care of her. She's my responsibility, and I don't take that lightly. Is there any more? What's that? Oh, hey, another one. We're gonna hold on to that. Is there any more? We yeah. can't let anything happen to Ducky. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Taking care of ch children is important. I mean, I know I kind of picked Sean, but that was mostly because I wanted to see what was going to happen. I don't remember them very well. Nothing of importance. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. No, you we'll do don't. Do our damnedest. No.
Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh my god, coffee sounds good. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. Oh, Jesus. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? That's just creepy. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Ooh, she likes him, though. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, oh, batteries. let me have a look. Batteries, you always got check for batteries first. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries <laughs> She didn't even thing. notice. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. You're a reporter. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Neither would I. We'll find out. Photographs. Batteries. Awesome. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Will it work? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I thought we just found it. Still need one more? No. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Battery, battery, battery. Battery, battery. There are no more batteries? Come on. There's batteries in there. What about the remote? Is there batteries in the remote? No. That's what I figured. No shit, take the batteries out of the remote, we can use them, maybe they'll fit. There's nothing there. Hmm. Okay. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I found one! Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's 
go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary <laughs> noises. Agreed. I don't know if this is a good idea or a really bad idea. We'll find out. Wow. No! They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Um... That place is full of TVs and electronics. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better That's his brother. Huh? Yep. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. We need to go get Glenn, though, so I'll do we get Glenn first, find. or...? But we have a photo. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The TV! Oh, it doesn't Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Is he being a shooby? Are you I serious? I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Yeah, buddy. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense <laughs> might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? It's not loud enough, is it? I got a few of them to take notice. It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Are you Did fucking... Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. How are we supposed to go at Glenn? We're How did Glenn even get out? We just fire code violations. I can't reach that mm, brick. So what are we supposed to do? So we're gonna have to wait on it then. Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. How are we supposed to get it open? Let's go save Glenn. We'll get back to that later. I can't find radio or batteries. Cause yeah, I don't know. Oh! 
I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Damn it. Yeah, these are no good. Okay. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Shit! Let's I go. didn't tell Clementine. Ah. Uh. Well, do I have to tell her? I don't know. Mm, that probably would have been a good idea to tell her. How did we get out, though, if it's locked in the front? Did you see that? Sure did. That's Be where Glenn is in me. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go! Now! Mm. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Damn it, Glenn. Think about if it was you. Okay. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Oh god, what are we supposed to do? Alright. There's one right there. Okay, I count five. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay. Oh, what's that? I want that. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. Damn it, I wanted to grab I have it. have an idea for it. Yeah, use it as a silencer. Can you do that? Good luck smothering them to death. Is you... that really what I have in mind? Okay. Let's go that way. Let's go over there. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't see that. I forgot about that one really quick. <laughs> okay, we're alright. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Then let's look in the pickup. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Why are you not looking? Yep. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What can I do with the pillow? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Mm, I don't want to make noise. Okay. What am I supposed to do with the pillow? Oh! I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Use the pillow on the gun on the... That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. I know that. I want to use the pillow with the gun. What are you gonna do? Damn with that? it! I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <sighs> no. Let's Get go. out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Uh, 
That was sick! Ugh, ugly. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, um... Is there anything in here? Oh! We can break the window with that, maybe? Okay. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It's coming handy. I want the screwdriver, though. Can I use that to break the window? There's a pig in the truck. I know, I want it. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Great minds think alike. No. Back. Let's go that way. Let's go over here. There's a car up on ramp. No shit. Oh no, that was a bad idea. I forgot to kill the other one first. That was awesome. <laughs> we gotta get out of you. Okay, we're good. They're eating, right? <laughs> that actually scared me. I wasn't really prepared that I had to hit him. that still dude where'd your weapon go that's big size tool holy shit it's cool now we've got this are you two done I'm sorry I'm sorry two more that should help yeah buddy let go why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Okay. Here's the thing, I trust Glenn and I trust Carly. I don't really trust Kenny because he will, no matter what, put his family first. And I respect that, but it's not going to help me in the end. So it's kind of... Go, 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 go! Why aren't you clicking? 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Rad. I am a badass. I am sorry. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I guess we are. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. Oh, she's bitten. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Good to know. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Oh, God. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Yeah. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. What if she shoots us, though? What if this was a really bad decision? What if she tries to shoot us? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? I need the gun. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Exactly. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Oh, Lee. Yeah, you- God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. She's Christian. I thought that that was suitable to say. Oh god. Here we go. It was her decision. I felt like that was the right choice. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. We the next order pills. of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah, I know you don't want to help because you don't like him. Fine. Ugh. Okay, um, I know, I know, you're not doing good. Hey there. Hi. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. That's good. good. How you doing? I am not going down Can that. I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I gave you huh? food. Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Mm. We'll sit tight. Okay. We'll get to know each other in a little bit. I know I have that, but I want to make it last. Central High Tech State. 
Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Uh, that's nice. How? Oh, I have the axe. All right, let's go outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Um. Yes. All right. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Get the brick. Careful. Throw the brick. I can't reach that brick. That's why you open it a little bit, you numb skull. Get the brick. Get the brick. Throw the brick. I hope that doesn't attract more. I just hope it just keeps these guys busy. Now's the time. Go, 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 go. Be careful. I know. Keep an eye out, will you? Hello, brother. Hey, Sorry. Boy. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. That scared me. This is just cool. One last time. Again? Okay, he's gone. Sorry, dude. Holy crap! Run! Time to run. Time to run. Back inside. You left it a little bit open. How dare you? Man, that was close. We don't but have we much didn't. time. It's all that matters. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. I know. Let's get in there. Yes. Hopefully there's no one in there. You would suck if his parents were actually like they turned into zombies and they went in there. Yeah. Oh, that would be cruel. He had an office brother, then he'd have to office parents. But that'd be awesome writing. Alright. Oh, Son no. of a fuck! Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on 
little dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. All right. What am I supposed to do? Stay away from the windows. What am I supposed to do? There we go. Hey Lee, if you don't make it through this, I should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, crap. Honey. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Did you find anything? Nothing. Go get the cane. Oh, the window is screwed. Go. Uh. Ah. Uh, uh. Something. Yes, thank you. Take it, take it, take it. Grab, grab, grab. Go, 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 go. We gotta save the girl. Risk if you save the many. She's more valuable. She's got gun experience. He doesn't. He's just a good soul. And I am sorry, but... Okay, we're going this way. We're going this way. Carly. Saving Carly. Sorry, bro. Oh my god. Let's go! We got Doug. No! Go, go, die, 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 die. Go, go, go. Excuse me. Get up. Get up, 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 get up. No, up. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you. Even if he is an asshole. Why is it? Oh my God! Why did he do that? Why did he hit me? Why did he not want me to come? I mean, I saved his sorry ass. What the fuck is his problem? Ugh! You son of a bitch! If you think I'm gonna save you, oh God! I don't even know yet. Ugh, I can't believe he actually did that. I can't. Ugh, son of a bastard. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Oh, whoops, sorry. I was not paying attention to the screen. Um, let's talk to Glenn and see how he's doing. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. Columbus. Oh, man. To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Alright. If someone wants to leave, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna keep him there, so... 
If he feels like he has to leave, I won't stop him. I like this chick who seems like she'll try to stop because she thinks she knows best. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. I hope we meet up with him again. That'd be great. I mean, he's such a good character to have around. He's really handy and resourceful. Shit happens. Ah! Forrest Gump. Alright. I want to go tell Kenny thank you, because he saved my sorry ass. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thank you. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Excuse me. That was like a solid one. Do you guys rate your burps? I totally do. I don't burp very often, but I mean, just saying. I want to go see Clementine. Where's she at? Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna talk to her now. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? No. I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. I don't know if that was really the comforting thing. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Alright. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You're more resourceful, you're good with the gun. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Underwater mega laser? What the hell is he talking about? Oh, you fucker. Pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. He talks so much. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee. Come here for a second. You fucker, yeah. I don't want to talk to you. Let me go you. deal with this. Ugh. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh god, he's talking again. What do you want? You like my daughter? No! Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away oh, from Oh my her. god. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Okay, so he knows. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? 
I don't like his daughter, but she is resourceful, My dad so would it be means... dead if it weren't for you. Yeah. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Why the music change? It's not really... I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Okay. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. If the military rolls through. I actually agree through. with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, we totally spoke too soon. Way too soon. All right, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. Well, let's watch this first. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry about as much as the bandits. Alright, let's see what happens. So, I lied to Herschel. I was honest. 63%. I saved Sean. And only 47%. Of course, they choose the kid. But, I mean, last time I played this, I chose the kid. And I wanted to see if the outcome would be different. I don't know if I messed up. And wasn't quick enough with saving Sean. Um... But yeah, I wanted to see if, you know, Herschel would be on our side and not kick us off the farm. Um, I like Kenny. I wouldn't mind defending him. Well, I agreed with him in that scenario. I might not agree with him later. Who knows? Gave Irene the gun. Yeah, I felt that... Here's the thing. I felt like giving her the gun was a right thing to do because... She no longer has control. She was going to die anyways, and I felt like she had the right to choose which way she died, which is why I chose to give her the gun. I felt like if we didn't give her the gun, she would have tried taking the gun and things could have gone really badly. So, yeah. Uh, who would you save, Doug or Carly? Choosing Carly makes sense, but my reasoning was that she's more resourceful. Doug, unfortunately, was not. So I don't know if I'm like a cruel person when I like think of these things, but who knows? Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, next one will be up shortly. See ya.